I've been working in hospitality since I was 18, since I left Sri Lanka, from a pot wash to around today. I don't think anyone who's come this far in our industry has had it easy. It's always been tough and we've got through it. Even if we have to stop and restart everything, it just doesn't stop. Hi, I'm Rishi and we, we have two restaurants operating right now in Singapore. One is Cheek Bistro, Cloud Street and also we were meant to open Kotua which is our Sri Lankan restaurant last month. For now we're operating it as a takeaway for, from Cloud Street. We came back from a Chinese New Year, we all knew what was going to happen. I'm very lucky I have one of the best teams and we work very very fast. We're setting up all the platforms. Food wise we had to adjust the menu and pick the food that would travel. The lamb ribs, fish and chips and also introducing our bottled cocktail. Being a restaurant that serves 30 people, we started reaching an audience that had never been to Chi. People started reaching out asking what to order and how much to order. So we introduced set menus for two people and four people and that has helped a lot. Opening restaurant, it's one of the most painful things that you can do in your life. But when it came to Kotu, I thought, okay, for the first time in my career and my life, I'm gonna have a smooth opening for a change because we know the location, we had a full team ready to go, we knew how to do things, and then this happened. As chefs, we need to change and adapt. Whoever doesn't, won't survive this. Cloud Street Kitchen is just to serve 26 people with very different intricate food where we cook everything on a little grill and on two induction to just turn into a full Sri Lankan restaurant so we had to change the whole setup. During the circuit breaker, one thing I really wanted was good branding. I love design, I love anything to do with art. First thing that you see is branding, packaging, it makes a difference. So I thought it was very, very important and people will remember. No matter what happens, there's always a way to survive. We're very lucky to be in Singapore, you know, especially when looking back at what's happening in the world, you've learned how to go past hard times and again, this will be that. Hopefully, this brings the best out of all the restaurants. Hang in there and the time will come. I can't wait to go back to like a blank canvas and start things from scratch. No matter how many times you've done it, every night when that first customer walks through the doors and when you put down that first few dishes, like you feel very nervous. That part I really miss. I can't wait to feel that again.